Production. And Fletcher Brown here for another Kix96 Kix Country video blog. Welcome to our website, kix96country.com. Our guest today from Nashville, actually by way of uh, Ohio. Please <laughs> welcome new artist Carly Whetstone. Hey, Carly, how are you? I'm great, thanks. All right, well, thanks for driving all the way down here from Nashville. Now, I mentioned you were originally from Ohio. What part of Ohio? From northeast Ohio, a little town called Warren, which most people have never heard of. So I normally say it's about 15 minutes from Youngstown. So. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Youngstown, Ohio. I'm yes. familiar with Youngstown. Yeah. Now, you've been playing music uh, since, since a fairly young age, uh, at Absolutely. least 15. Uh, did your roots to music go back further than that? Absolutely. I, um, I grew up in a home that was filled with music constantly. Every kind of music. It didn't matter what it was. My parents, I feel really lucky. They loved everything, so I suppose us to everything and then I actually was um, classically trained as an opera singer when I was young and then found my way to country music and never looked back. So. Can I ask, I, I read that in your bio, the, uh, <laughs> the classically trained, which of course for me, because I'm a refined gentleman, <laughs> I do like it that at the opera, uh, how did you move from classically trained to opera to country? I mean, did, was, was your mother, your father in the country? Or? Well, Garth Brooks. Oh. It was Garth Brooks, really. Um, my parents liked country, and, and we had it around the house, but I don't think that I really fell in love with it until I heard him, and just everything about him was just life-changing for me, really. Um, his delivery of songs, the, the thing I, I most admire is the way he can one-on-one -on -one connect with people. I always found it amazing, you know, when you'd watch his you know, specials on TV, there'd be hundreds of thousands of people in Central Park, but the person all the way in the back literally thought he was singing to them, and that inspired me and just just fascinated me and, and made me just a huge fan of his and, and his work. Garth Brooks is a truly dynamic personality. Have you ever had a chance to, to meet Garth? Or? No, I, I think that if I did, I would probably just really embarrass myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I did the same thing with Shirley. It's all right. All right, so um, <laughs> you uh, you make the leap from a uh, classically trained singer to country music, and uh, by the age of fifteen, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, between then and now, you you had an opportunity to open up for artists like Neil McCoy, Phil Vassar, Tim, uh, not Tim, uh, Taylor Swift, and so many others. Uh, what is probably the 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 moment that you said this is the greatest moment that I've had to you know do? This? What what opportunity would you say was the greatest? I would say Neil McCoy. Um, he was so gracious. You know, I think it's intimidating going in as an opening artist who people really don't know. You know, you're not at the level of somebody like that. And he was such a gentleman, made me feel so at ease. You know, he's, he told me, you're my daughter's age. This is going to be so much fun. And then once he took the stage, was so gracious, said the kindest things about me. And in that moment, I mean, it was so great to have the feedback of somebody that's been there and done that, that Maybe I really can. I can do this. You know, maybe I, maybe I am good enough. So it was really an incredible moment for me to have, you know, just the, the recognition from him and and feel. I felt really great during the performance, but to have that reflected through his statement meant the world to me. Oh, I'm sure. Neil McCoy's a wonderful. He's wonderful a great, artist. great man. So when did you uh, decide? You know what, Ohio. I was just not gonna be not, not gonna be my home forever. I need to move to Nashville and make this happen. How long have you? The moved? first time I went to Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I went the first time actually at fifteen to start, um, you know, just getting familiar with the talent. I knew, I knew that I wanted to be in country music. You know, really, fifteen really was the age that it was. This is my home. This is where I have to make this work. So I knew, obviously, I wasn't gonna move at fifteen. But I wanted it to be a very smooth transition. So I started going to Nashville two and three times a year, and then, you know, up the visits more and more, and then moved there about four years ago. Just because, that, I mean, it just felt like home to me. It really did. It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Yeah, it wasn't weird to leave my family, absolutely. But it was just where I knew I belonged. Well, man, Nashville's a great, great city. It is. Now, you bring with you, actually, uh, from Ohio, your husband, mm -hmm. who, if I'm not mistaken, it's your childhood sweetheart, That's or at least right. someone you've known since uh, very yeah, young. We started dating very young. And he was uh, he actually played for Ohio State. Mm -hmm. And now uh, he signed with the Tennessee Titans, is that correct? Mm -hmm. so, uh, and who's your husband? Doug Daddish. Doug Daddish uh, from the Tennessee Titans. If you're a Tennessee Titans fan, you see their, their roster, see his name there. It's Carly's husband, okay? He's actually in the room, but he's much too big for the camera. <laughs> so uh, we'll try to get him on later. We'll see if we can do that for you. All right, Carly, tell you what, I'm going to get out of the way and let you introduce your guitar player. Awesome. And uh, you can tell the folks in Kicks Country uh, about your single, okay? Okay, great. All right, come on over here.
Well, this is my first single, and I'm so excited to be here at you know Kicks Country. We're really looking forward to this visit. Uh, it's called I'm Having a Good Day. Uh, it's about a girl who woke up one day and the guy had left her, and now she's moving on. So we hope you like it. And this is the wonderful Scott Whitehead. Hey. He's there. Are you going ready? to be playing guitar and singing backgrounds. <laughs> Shed a tear since you left last night Oh boy, I hope you're not on your way www.carlywhetstone.com and Carly spelled a little weird. It's K A R L I. That's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that'll just take you everywhere. So if you go there, that's kind of the best little central location. You have the MySpace working? Yes, MySpace, Facebook. I'm there. Are so. you on Twitter too? On Twitter. And Good. Got to be tweeting. That's 2000. <laughs> I'll tweet about this as soon as I leave. So. We should be tweeting about it right now. I was tweeting about Jackson just then. <laughs> oh, I, was, I was tweeting. I tweet all the time. I need to follow you. Though. <laughs> Obsessed. Oh, come on, let's all go. Carly Winston <laughs> in Kicks Country. And come on, Doug, come on over here. We're going to see if we can't fit him in. Uh, we're going to introduce you to uh, Carly's husband, Tennessee Titan, uh, uh, Doug uh, Dadish. Please uh, please welcome uh, Doug to, to Kicks Hello. Country. You have an amazingly talented wife. I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have a beautiful wife, and I'm blessed that she can sing. And I love it. It's, uh -huh. it's great. And you know, definitely, you know, the, the classic the train, it comes through in the music. All right, please welcome again Doug uh, Dash of the Tennessee Titans, his wife Carly Whetstone, who you will hear soon on Kicks I 6 Country. Join us next time. We'll have more for you on our video blog section at kicksi6country.com. We'll see you next time.